This is Matthew Peter DeLuca, better known as Lil Mabu. This drill rapper you see with all these hitters with him is also a senior at collegiate school, the nearly 400 year old Manhattan prep that costs $60,000 a year. He's got over 3 million social media followers and he lives at his parents' five bed, five bath, 3,300 square foot condo on the Upper East Side of New York. During school breaks or on the weekends, he can escape to the Hamptons where his family owns a 6,000 square foot mansion, both houses worth close to $12 million total. Not only is he not of the culture, but he's a model student at that. <laughs> um, is this another 6 9 situation? And um, what about the black dudes running with him? I mean, it's nothing new. I mean, we've always had imposters in the game. You know what I'm saying? Because hip hop is originally talking about our struggle and the shit we go through and about life and shit like that. Where this dude is, he's got a silver spoon in his mouth. You know what I'm saying? He ain't struggle. He ain't never worried about where his next meal was coming from. He ain't never worried about if he was going to go outside and even come home that night. You know what I'm saying? He's a sheltered dude, lives in a gated community. So everything he raps about is fraudulent. Everything. So, but. Nobody seems to care. But he wasn't saying anything on there that implemented him being a gangster of any sort. He was speaking the truth. So and I'm sorry to just interject, but I'm I'm going to say this. From, from what I know of drill music, and it's one of the reasons I actually am not trying to get involved in it, is because it seems to be a sport that people die off real quick because it's supposed to be that real shit. They seem to get killed real quick because they really, it's like real life diss tracks. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's my one thing with him. So go ahead, Malibu's most wanted. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just scrolling through the story. Bro was sitting in a car in a Spider-Man suit holding a water money. That's so confusing to me. And people Listen. always make the, the, people always make the comparison and they say, yo, like, leave the young people alone. Remember when we was listening to NWA and stuff like But listen, I'm... Now, this is different, though, because this is, like, cultural boundaries. It doesn't make sense to... And, and listen, I just want to throw in there real quick. I read somewhere that he has, um in New York, a permit to carry a concealed weapon. So is that because his dad was, like, a scam artist? Because, or is it because he's a drill rapper, so they, they granted him permission? Yeah. So Malibu's most wanted got daddy's money to go fucking pay for a gun permit and all this other shit because he's a real, real good kid, whatever, the, the eight mile rap shit, you know what I'm saying? He got a gun at 16? I mean, I read that he has a, a, a concealed, he has a um a license to carry a concealed fucking weapon. And in New York? And listen, the only, you way, you, you wanna, listen, the only way you get one of those in New York is if you move in like somewhere in the area of $50,000. You gotta a be day. a business so, owner of a big right. extent. Right. You and know what? I really big be... amounts of money, cash, right. to the bank and back. Exactly. You know what I'm so that's the only real way you get one of those kind of licenses to carry concealed gun. I could be wrong, but I think it was in regards to um saying that his dad has more street cred than him. Yeah. And his father has to carry, his father has a concealed carry permit. Okay. Yeah. So, cause, cause the father was getting beat up for like scamming on ninety-one-year-old women and shit like that. Right. Oh, so okay. Right. He was doing all that kind makes of bullshit. Sense. This is how this is how the world is unfair, and I'm not gonna lament this. It is what it is, right? But right. So his father is like a scammer scumbag, right? And this kid still gets to go to this prep school and walk through the halls and be respected in polite society, even though his dad is a crook. Now, if my dad was on some crook shit, they going to paint us all with the same brush. You know what I mean? And not only that, he get he getting it both ways. Pause, right? He is able to get respect at the prep school level. Beans. He, he is able to get respect at the prep school level, but now he got these, I assume they real black street dudes that's like in the videos with him. So he kind of getting this protection and love on the street He's too. He's paying them clearly. They buying, he he buying their love. Protection. That makes yeah. sense. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. But if, he it's, if, if, if it's, he's really in that drill shit, he, he still ain't going to last. These dudes are going to either turn on him or they, they, he's going to get robbed and killed. If, if well, he's here's, really why, in the drill here's shit. why he may not get killed so quick, right? For two reasons. 
I'm going to say with the first reason, because I'm going to forget it in a minute. Because first of all, I'm going to say this with my peoples on here, even though we still got beef. I, I say what the truth is. Sometimes I talk about white people, sometimes I talk about black people. I'm going to say it like this. Number one reason ain't nothing going to happen to them, because black people ain't shit. Listen, we will go down the block and smoke that dude that says something smart about us on Facebook, but we ain't got nobody that done went and got George Zimmerman yet. I hope you have a long, healthy life. Let me say that. All right. Before somebody say I said something, right? But nobody we went and got protection. George. Nobody, nobody went and got fucking George Zimmerman. You he, know what I mean? He, he got money for protection. That's a thing. So everybody can be bought, which sucks in a place of power. That's usually what it comes to. And so the other reason why he somebody's gonna stand up and rage against the machine per se or say fuck this money shit. But if that's why I'm saying in the drill shit, eventually one of those dudes is gonna turn. But listen, that's the thing. We did a show about this. I think I think we did the reloaded about this, where we talked about the 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 father snitched on his son, that the son was in the drill stuff, and 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 the son did the murder, and the father ended up snitching on him. But here's what we learned during that: when Big Blue was on here, when he was giving us the breakdown, they make songs about I killed this dude. They go kill the dude, and they make songs. They put the name in it. I they I yeah. did it. They say I know that was me. Right. And so what my boo is not doing, I don't think, because I only heard 45 seconds of this nigga shit. But I'm a guess if I heard a whole little Mabu album, I'm a guess. I'm not going to hear him talking no slick shit about nobody that could touch him. He not going to call nobody out. He just do He listen. We've seen this movie before. Yes, we have. But it was called Six Nine. Right. We seen this. Movie how it all start. But yeah. Wait, why do you keep saying like six nine? Because okay, I'm not super educated on him other than knowing he's a fucking snitch with fucking rainbow bright hair. The reason so, this is why. But but this dude, this dude so far, he hasn't snitched on nobody, right? He's just no, a rich no, boy I'm a, fucking. Right. I'm gonna tell you why I, though. I, I would definitely have to hear more because, like I said, the little bit that I heard, he was just saying real shit over some hot beats. The drill rappers even put albums out. No, listen. Do they have listen, a chance to? Because I just be hearing them getting fucking popped. They, they exactly like you said. They drop names. They, yeah. they throw direct shots. So they snitch on themselves for killing somebody else's boy. Then one of these other drill rappers comes at them. Let me, let me, let me explain the six nine connection. Okay, right? please, because because I watched the. He's annoying as it is six nine, but they did a great documentary on this guy on Showtime. And they talk about how he came up, right? So he came, I'm gonna try to do this super, super quick. He he came up, didn't know what he wanted to do. Not none of the tattoos, none of the hair, right? And then he was looking for a place to be and he was doing like some punk music, right? I don't, it wasn't even rap, right? And it wasn't catching, right? And so he kept on bouncing around trying to find a space, but then he started putting out the merch and the merch would say stuff like HIV or something on the front or something like real provocative. Ad. Remember um, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Relax back in the day, them shirts, right? And so he had shirts that kind of look like that, but it had these like real provocative, when you see it, you would think, why is he wearing that? So he was doing that, getting attention. Then his girl took him to the beauty salon and was like, let's get the image thing. And she was like, hair. They put the colors in it. His girl did that and then the tattoos and everything. And then he decided, I'm going to do this crazy. I'm going to get over here in this drill shit and start screaming and hollering. And then this thing was born, right? Because what happens? He shoots the video. Because I saw this in the documentary. He shoots the video in Brooklyn outside the homeboy from the Bloods. He wasn't a, he wasn't a blood. And you got 150 Bloods behind you on the stoop. And you going wild, real blood. real blood. The video was a thing, and you can't turn that shit off. Once you can't you, listen. Once them hundred and fifty blood, if a hundred and fifty blood stand behind me, and I throw on a red bubble coat, listen, I can't turn that shit off when yeah, I, I want to turn see it, it off. So now, Crips or whomever got issues with bloods, they like yo son, son, son of blood. You know what I'm saying? I've seen him with the bloods. He had the real homies with him. He must be a real blood. They had no idea, like, son, really a, a cur, a bitch. But that's where the muscle at. Mm -hmm. That's what I see with the, with the other kid. If he get in too deep, he won't be able to turn that shit off. But he also got to be out of bounds if anybody hurt him.
because you can't go in this neighborhood. We can't pull up in his neighborhood. We can't pull up. Well, now those those cats that that he be rapping with, we can pull up in their neighborhood whenever we feel like it. We blow one of them niggas' heads off whenever we feel like it. But we can't go to Matthew's house. We can't pull up to his house and surround his house. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Listen, this is a well orchestrated situation. Matt, Matt, smart, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. he is. He is getting the best of both worlds. He get to live like a prep. He get to come in. He get to moonlight with the gangsters, and then he get to go home. And they stuck. They still stuck dealing with gangster shit when they go home. Matthew, he can go. He can retreat to the Hamptons if if he gets stressed out at home and he get a C plus. He can go to the Hamptons, you know, because his folks own a place in the Hamptons. The niggas he rapping with don't even know how to spell Hamptons. Mm, right. Right. You know what I'm saying? And if Matthew, if Matthew get knocked with let's say, you know what I mean, some uh some coke, right? A little bit of coke. When you see him in court, he's gonna be all slicked up. Slicked you know what I mean? Up. Hey, yo. Yes. Snitching, hands listen, down. That listen, boy's when, when snitching. Shit get real, he'll probably tell. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, and I'm probably, and, and, hey, but listen, he hey, will. but check this out though. If he wanted to stand strong on the situation, he'll probably have lawyers and a backing that's strong enough to get him a slap on the wrist, and that shit will turn him into a fucking god. It's gonna be our fault. It's gonna be our fault. We we bad influences on him. That's what it's gonna be. That's what they're gonna say in court. And let and, and, and let me say this, right? Because when we go back, talk about the six nine situation again. We saw this movie, right? So it I becomes a point shit, where he becomes valuable to the government to start telling on people and he does just that because he's not really a part of them right and now you got the argument going on where people will be like well listen let's not dog 69 because he really was a civilian the whole time posing the right so time. it's that is that is that is that, is that murky but let, but watch this but watch this right if you ever got caught by the cops for doing anything and you tried to get out of it and when you was talking to that cop or that detective or when you went to court and they unsealed the indictment and read the charges or the prosecutor started talking, you realized that there were some things about the thing you was doing that you didn't think about that they was going to find out. You learn this if you go in front of the court says, we like, they got a way to find that out. I didn't even know that. Right. So watch this. This dude's father is not only a crook, but he's a powerful crook, right? Damn near everybody in Washington, D.C. We talking a powerful... about Malibu's most wanted, right? Right, Malibu's most wanted dad. So what's to say, well, I'm whoever, let's call myself Quantavius, and I'm back there with the blood. I'm with the bloods. I'm backing him up. We going, kicking it with him, and we smoking and everything. We doing all this shit. What's to say... That these people up here, because Mabu's little, little Malibu, right? Malibu was wanted. His dad operate on this level. What's to say some people at a cocktail party don't say, hey, my kids said your son is doing the thing. I watched the video. Wow, he really around all these dudes? Look, listen, this dude over here that I seen in the back, we've been looking for this dude for a long time. And then just activate this dude. Right, he, embedded with the crew. How long? Happen. How long was Six Nine in there informing before niggas found out what he was doing? What's crazy about all of that is when I was put in a situation that it was either my freedom or to set somebody up and snitch. When I tell you, the people who came to me and said snitch was so fucking crazy to me. That was the day I realized after all those years, I said, damn. So if the shoe was on the other fucking foot, you would be dropping that name. And that's somebody like real close to me. I'm not folding. In that same interview. That's what his man say. Yeah. He don't really got no street cred. You know what I'm saying? Got street cred. But see, his dad, dad got the street cred. We wouldn't go for that. We wouldn't. We wouldn't really go for that back in the day. Like, and let me just say this while we rounding out this discussion. Um, we come up on real lyricists talking about stuff they saw or did 
in the neighborhoods. And we talk about drill and they take it to another level, say, I killed this guy, right? Talk about people they really kill. And I just want to say, because my favorite like group, uh, let me say duo, is Mob Deep. And just, you know, thank God that them two didn't go and clap somebody in the middle of their fucking career, right? Because we would have lost out on all that fucking music. You know what I mean? And we talk about time when people talk, we love the drama of it. And I love the drama. It went too far when it got to the Biggie and Pac thing. I don't think the thing is related. Like it's not East Coast, West. It's like some other shit happened with both of them is what I believe, right? We ain't gonna talk about that right now. But what if having P was acting like these drill rappers and somebody said his name and he just went and bow. But you look at a guy like Gunna, right? We don't listen to, I don't listen to his music, right? But I know he with the whole, what is, what's the guy named Young Thug? The YSL thing to read. He gets cut loose, swear up and down. Lawyer said he didn't tell. What the fuck was poppin' is your boy Mike Powers?